we thought maybe this could be the greatest adventure story ever told. A trip that redefines what people thought was possible in the 21st century. An up-close look at what a human being is truly capable of. Then we remembered, it's just fly fishing. Another big adventure. This time I'm only taking real pros though. Guys with a resume, you know. this trip was pretty simple. We wanted to use the pack rafts as a tool to find genuine solitude and genuine adventure on a very remote river system, much of which is inaccessible to larger rafts. 100 miles, no frills, no guidebook, and a pretty good crew. Being born and raised in Montana, I feel like I've had the opportunity to really get away and experience solitude. But when you go to Alaska, it's a totally different story. 100 miles without seeing anybody, that's usually what I look for on a trip and it's really hard to find. When you set out on a 100 mile trip, you really have no idea what's in front of you or what each day is gonna bring. But for us, that first couple days was just stunning. I mean, we saw a ton of wildlife, beautiful scenery. But it wasn't until about day three where the river started to braid out quite a bit and the fishing just went off the hook. 